I was just watching a video from Sinead O'Connor, and she was quite distraught at a hotel in New Jersey. Coming clean that she's been... She's had suicidal thoughts for the past couple of years, and she, it's really been a battle for her. And there are people that go, a battle? It's not a battle. It's... Well, it, it is. It really is. It's, it's a battle to stay alive. It's a battle to just push yourself, you know, even though you feel like this so much. It's, it's a battle. Uh, Chester, what's his last name? Bennington, the, the lead singer of uh, Lincoln Park. He, he, he lost that battle. And you can go, oh, well, he's weak. Do, do you go through what, what, what these people go through? No. So you, you, you have no right to judge them on your standards like that. You, 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 you didn't go through what they went through. You're not, you didn't experience what they've went through. You can say, well, you know, I experienced some bad things and I came out all right. Well, good for you. Happy, happy McLucky fucking pants. You know, congratulations. Do you want a medal? It, it does, it pisses me off to no end when I see those with mental issues being treated so poorly and being treated like you could just pick yourself up by your bootstraps. No, it doesn't work that way. And it disgusts me when people put that kind of attitude on. And, you know, sadly, sadly, the people who put that kind of mindset, who push that message out, are generally, sorry, they're, they're generally from coming from, uh, the, uh, if you go the political spectrum, they're generally coming from the right from a conservative perspective, from sometimes a religious perspective. Some of, sometimes you'll just, oh, well, you just need God. That'll be another one that someone will say. Even if church and religion is what did this to those people. You know, when I... You know, I needed to make it clear when I saw my psychiatrist here that, you know, if I'm going to have therapy, I, I, they cannot be pushing religion on me. They cannot be pushing that there. They can't be pushing the kind of messages you find in 12-step programs either. You know, can't, they can't push this, oh, you just need to find a higher power. No. No. All that will do, if, if they start to do that to me, that will make me think about suicidal thoughts. Think about suicidal... It'll give me suicidal thoughts. Okay? It just... No. Just... Just... No. Okay? I have been so damaged by religion. You... You have no fucking idea. Zyprexa... This time around... Probably saved my life again. And if there comes a time where I need to come off it again, it's going to... Oh, that's going to be hard. I know it's going to be hard. Maybe I won't have to come off of it. It seems to be doing pretty good for me now. But... Yeah, some of you don't know what, what goes through, through our heads. You don't know... Some of you don't even know what, what panic... For... Reasons that don't follow logic is about. Everyone's experienced panic at some point in their lives, you know, and usually it's from things that, a, a horrible situation in front of them, not some, something that's deep from their past that gets triggered somehow. It's usually not from that. But everyone knows what panic feels like to some degree. Just imagine it, it, that kind of feeling, the worst kind of panic you've ever experienced, happening at random to you every day. Every day. And having to live with that feeling. Sometimes 
for the entire period of a, of a day, where it, it never stops. Imagine that kind of mental pain all the time. Would you still give that advice? Pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Would, would you still give that advice? I doubt it. Not if you're actually experiencing that. And so that's why it hurts so much when I see people saying things like, like to, to saying that same kind of pick yourself up by your bootstrap, stop being such a whiny baby, blah, 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 when it comes to the people who were so distraught over Trump winning. You, 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 people will make entire videos making fun of those who are distraught over that, you know? The people who, who are that distraught over it usually have some sort of mental problems, and this has triggered it, and they don't know how to get it to stop. Yet you, some of you still make fun of people for that. I, I'm sorry, I think that's sick. I think that's disgusting. Whether or not it should be a valid reason for people to feel that way or not, people feel that way. Doesn't matter whether you think it's valid or not, this is the way some people feel. You're not going to change it by making fun of them. You're not going to change it by going out of your way to make them feel like shit. It's not going to change that. It, 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 no amount of meanness is going to change it. No amount of telling them to, to pick themselves up by their bootstraps is going to change it. And that's the saddest thing to me about Trump winning. Is all the blatant apathy towards those with mental issues. Because you know what? The Trump administration certainly isn't going to do anything that's going to help those with mental issues. He's likely to take away the resources from those who have mental issues. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, he is president. And there isn't anything anyone can do about it unless they do some sort of do something violent and illegal. Um, so I just, I guess I don't really know where I'm going with this, but, you know, try to have a little bit of empathy. Even if you don't understand why someone has mental pain. at least try to empathize with them in some way. You might just save someone's life. <laughs>